Puket Internet, and welcome to the 1st of April 2023, or the 10-year anniversary of the first time that I've ever done Vita. This is vlog, uh, it's not gonna be vlog every day in April this year. Uh, I'm wondering if this is even audible. I'm going to relocate. One moment. We're going with the old-fashioned vlog walking vlog. Um, so I guess this is basically a life update, and for reference, this is not an April Fool's Day joke or anything. I'm not capable of doing Vita this year. Uh, so my tentative plan is to push Vita off until August, because then it's still Vita. Either that or I'll, I'll do a vlog every day in June just because it's silly again, or maybe July. I don't know. I want to still take a month to vlog every day, but this is an absolutely awful month to do that. Um, tempted to do next month, but next month is quite possibly going to be the busiest month of my life. So, who knows? So, I should probably give a bit of a life update. I've actually tried to make this video a few times. I made a life update for March. This is what it looks like outside. There was no snow on the ground last night. None at all. Yep. Good old Madison in March. And then never edit it together because I didn't like what I had. Ah, so, the last left update was in February. There's been a lot of things that have happened since then. And I felt like walking today. I'm going to be role-playing in about an hour or so. So this won't be that long for me. So it'll be under an hour. Where to start? Um, was my emergency room visit the last vlog? I really should have watched the last vlog before recording this. I just now realized that I should have done that. So... Apologies if some of these things are repetitive from the last life update. So, oh, and I'm not listening to anything right now. I'm using my headphones as earmuffs. Because while it's not particularly cold outside, it's 6 degrees, and yesterday nearly hit 20 degrees. Um, 20 Celsius is 68 Fahrenheit, for reference. Um, it's snaining outside right now. I... I know that cameras don't pick up snow, sleet, or rain very well, so I'm just letting you know it's snaining and windy. Be walking through a neighborhood so I get less wind at least. Um, so I've had a trip to the emergency room. Let's see, updates for the move. Uh, Knitir and I secured an apartment in March. Our sign, sign over date, as in the date that we would take control of the apartment, was today. Uh, you will notice that I'm using past tense because they reg pulled. Um, they backed out of the agreement at the last moment. Or not technically the last moment, they gave me one week's notice. But, and since we had not signed anything yet, that's perfectly legal. But the reason why we hadn't signed anything yet is that we were waiting on them to send us all the paperwork to sign. So, that was obnoxious. It's sad, too. The place had a kitty that lived underneath the house. Ah, oh, there's somebody coming this way, so I will walk a different way. And I want to meet the kitty. But, so yeah, we got rug pulled, which means that we're having to do even more apartment shopping. Or whatever the equivalent of apartment shopping is when you're renting. Um, the rug pull, for reference, is likely due to the fact that Norway is intensely xenophobic, and I'm not a Norwegian citizen, yet I am the one that's going to be primarily paying rent. <sighs> Everything dealing with trying to rent an apartment in another country, especially Norway, has been an utter disaster. And I will eventually have probably a series of videos on 
how to move out of the U.S. or how to leave or how to escape or whatever I'm going to end up calling it. Where I'll go into more detail later. <sighs> but yeah, so uh, Kate here is going to be doing more in-person apartment shopping next week, hopefully, and I'll be waking up at oh God's why o'clock in order to be there, give moral support, be able to help answer questions, stuff like that. Because seven hour time zone difference means I kinda need to wake up at three in the morning in order to make it for Kadeter's first apartment. So that's fun. Um, in other Debbie Downer news, my grandfather is in the hospital for multiple critical medical issues. I found out about that earlier this week. Complete with heart attack, whole nine yards. Which hit me really hard, to put it mildly. It's almost as though this past decade, including during the last Vitas when this started, I've lost almost everybody I considered my biological family. Uh, that is, both parents, two of my four remaining living uncles, and now one of my two remaining grandparents. I have no siblings. I basically have no other family left alive that I was heavily involved with in childhood. So that hit like a ton of rocks, and I had a two and a half hour long panic attack about that. That's always fun. But enough of the bad news, how about some good news? Um, I finally have a new therapist. Been seeing them for about a month now. They are very interested in trying to make things better for me and give me tools to process my brain in the limited amount of time that we have because Obviously, once I relocate outside of, technically it's outside of the state of Wisconsin, never mind country or continent, then they can no longer be my therapist. So we're trying to have as many sessions as possible in that time, just so I can last longer when I move, because I am guessing it's going to be several months before I get access to a therapist in Norway. Um... Oh, right, I was talking about the move stuff. There has been a bit of good news on that front. Namely, I finally have an agreement with my current employer over how salary and benefits are going to be changing when I move to Norway. Um, so, backtracking a bit. In March, I received a yearly raise of 5% which, yes, is below inflation rate. Same time, I'm adjusting to a new job and I was highly paid already. I'm not too concerned about that one. But, the thing that I kept encroaching in my mind is, okay, that's great and all, what happens when I move to Norway? Because I never had an agreement about that. Whoops. And, long story short, my employer kept delaying, delaying and not talking to me about anything for a while. Hopefully you can hear me because the wind started kicking up more. And eventually, what, middle to end of March, we finally had a meeting to talk about it. Turns out, the reason why they were delaying was because they were panicking over the fact that we didn't have an agreement. And they were trying to come up with various options, trying to figure out whether I was expecting hey, just convert my salary into Norwegian Kroner and pay me that way. With all the benefits that a Norwegian employee would get. Which, no, I was not expecting that for reference, and I told them as much. My negotiating style tends to be a friendly, be open and upfront with people, and take no crap. Uh, so, I got my agreed about, which I'm not going to bother putting in this video, but I don't mind revealing it, but long story short, instead of my 5% raise, well, although I still have my 5% raise until I move to Norway, but basically, 
instead of a 5% raise, I get to live in Norway. So I will be being paid approximately what I was making prior to the raise when I moved to Norway, which is better than I was fearing, much better than I was fearing, actually better than I was hoping. Um, technically, it'll actually be about 5% less because when my company took their, okay, this is how much we're going to be paying you, that was the currency conversion between dollars and kroner at that particular time. It has gotten, uh, the currency conversion is different now where the dollar is stronger than the kroner. So I'm effectively taking a 5% pay cut as a result, but that's not my company's fault. They had to choose a date that it was effective of, and the date that they chose was a reasonable date. It's not like they cherry-picked a day or anything like that. And it'll probably bounce in both directions over time, because I am being paid in kroner and not in dollars. So that's fine. So all of that is set up. I will have more vacation time, because Norwegian required vacation time is actually significantly higher than what I was getting in the US. I'll be up to five weeks of vacation, actually. Um, I will be partaking in the Norwegian health insurance scheme, which is what I was intending to do anyway. Uh, and basically, I'm a Norwegian employee starting June 1st. 1st of June. I'm trying to invert my dates because European style is day, month, year rather than month, day, year like in the US. So I'm trying to get in the habit of inverting my dates when I'm saying it out loud. Um, so yeah, all of that is great. It means that I can actually afford the apartments that I've been looking at, which is kind of important. Uh, for reference, Bergen, Norway, which is the city I'm moving to, has a 5% higher cost of living than Madison, Wisconsin, where I live now, in the United States. And the cost of living isn't quite balanced. As in, it's not 5% across the board, like one would, might think. My housing prices are actually lower in Bergen than they are in here, because Madison has a housing crisis, and a really nasty one. Um, I was reading a chart, I don't know if I can, I don't know if Editor Me is going to be able to squeeze it in or not, but I was reading a chart that was talking about the top 100 metro areas and their adjustments with this stage of the pandemic and housing prices, where things have started falling, except Madison. Madison is the most, has the highest percentage increase in value of housing of any of the top 100 metro areas in the United States. It's increased, what was it, like 15%? I don't know. Maybe I don't know, maybe we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah. That's that housing is a little ridiculous. For a frame of reference, I looked at an apartment in the building that I, my employer happens to be located in. Uh, it's called the Lyric. And renting a two bedroom, two bath apartment in the Lyric is upwards of 3,500 US dollars a month. My mortgage is 1275 a month, and it's only that high because I have a 15 year mortgage and not a 30 year mortgage. So, haha. <laughs> there again, uh, the places I'm looking at are about. 20,000 to 25,000 kroner a month, which is about 1,900 to $2,400 a month. So, much closer to what I'm paying now. In fact, if you add in taxes and insurance and so on, it's about what I'm paying now. So, you know, it's important to know how much you're making before you actually move to a place, but I had to do apartment shopping first. Anyway, um, other things. So I am planning on recording more videos this month than normal, mostly because I'm sure some of you have noticed that I haven't had the greatest of schedules when it comes to Smack. And the reason why my Let's Play Alien Crossfire series has kind of slowed down and stalled at this point is because neither creator or I have time anymore. Um, 
So while I have sped up my editing process significantly, every hour of gameplay is about an hour and a half of editing for me right now. It was as much as four hours. But that requires both Kriatir and I to actually have time to play a game together. And that hasn't happened in a few weeks. Um, the vague schedule that I had been operating on is every other week we'd be recording videos. We haven't recorded any since the last video. There is nothing sitting in the editing queue or anything like that, and Kriatir is extremely busy. And so am I. So... It might be pausing for a while. Uh, I'm going to try to... Uh, right, I meant to actually go someplace to grab food. Um, I'm going to try to have at least a couple more videos because it's nice and fun and relaxing for the two of us to record them. But no promises. Because I'm moving in a month and a half, and they're moving in less than that. Because they're going to be moving in before I arrive. So, ha <laughs> ha And we still don't even have a place to rent. It's great. Everything's fine. <laughs> Um, let's see. So, I'm vaguely planning on trying to record a video a week, whether that be a Let's Play video, or whether that be a walking vlog, or maybe I'll even get started on the So You Want to Leave the U.S. videos. But it's a try. I'm not going to hold myself to any schedule, because one, this is my hobby. It's supposed to be fun. And two... I don't know if I can maintain any type of schedule right now. Things have been a little uh, hectic, to put it mildly. Also, you'll notice how overcast everything is. It's not just my camera having problems picking out colors in the sky. It is actually that overcast here. Um, last night, there was a giant storm front that went through, causing large tornadoes all throughout this region of the United States. Uh, we here in Madison missed the tornado warnings by less than a 15 minute drive. So if it would have gone slightly further to the north, I might be walking through some tornado damage again, like I did nine years ago. I think that was a Vita nine years ago at least. I don't remember if that was a part of Vita or if it was just an alternate recording, but a few blocks from my house, in my same neighborhood, there was a tornado that touched down and had a bunch of damage. Destroyed at least two houses. Fun. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Why did I cross the road? Because I want to go on the other side, because that's where the crosswalk is. Oh, the wind is picking up. I don't know if you can even hear me right now. I think you can, because I listened to a little bit of the introduction recording, and you were able to hear me then. Although these winds are much higher, so who knows? Uh, I'm gonna pause this while I cross roads. Be right back. All right, cross the road. Um, ooh, my phone's a little loose. One moment. There we go. Um, I'm just walking to a gas station and grabbing something for lunch because I have basically no groceries whatsoever right now. Just waiting. Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it for a life update, I think. Um, it's been awful. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty awful. Um, not really much else I can even say about it. I've been dealing with injuries, dealing with mental illness. I'm always dealing with mental illness, but dealing a lot of crap. And that's on top of the fact that I'm moving in a month and a half and still don't have a place to move to. So, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Hope you're having a good day. Bye!